artist, while already dead and gone, speak to the next generation or generations through their work. Vincent van Gogh. Before treating any painting, an art conservator must carefully examine its surface and record the current state of preservation of each fragment. This is done using all types of photography, as well as mapping. In other words, visualizing graphically those parts that have problems. The current state of preservation of Van Gogh's red vineyards is determined by several important factors. We know exactly what kind of conservation treatments took place after the painting entered the collection of the Pushkin Museum. What happened to it before that can be ascertained from the condition of the stretcher and the base of the painting. Today, the characteristic displacement of canvas threads doesn't coincide with the places of original contact between the canvas and the stretcher frame. This suggests that the painting was once stretched on a new stretcher and its size was slightly altered. A strip of canvas without a primer can be seen along the bottom edge of the painting and a canvas with a layer of paint is wrapped around the edge on the right side. The rough jute canvas also defines the appearance of the work. It is original and has never been backed. On the back side of the painting, you can see the traces of the primer, a clear indication that a canvas was not prepared in a factory. The artist must have stretched the canvas on a stretcher and then made and applied the primer himself. The presence of a fragment of the paint layer stuck into the canvas from the back side of the red vignettes confirms the fact that after being finished, the canvas, among others, was taken off stretcher and for some time was stored and transported in a stack. The most important thing in the multi-layered structure of a painting is the paint layer. The viewer's perception of the work depends on its state of preservation. The red vignette shows a pattern of characteristic craculeur, cracks in the paint layer, suggesting that quite a lot of time passed before the painting was stretched on a new stretcher. The fact is that the state of elasticity, characteristic of freshly painted works, does not last forever, but still lasts for quite a long time. Unfortunately, in the case of the red vignettes, the period in which it was decided to restretch the piece was prolonged. During the process, the fragile layers cracked to the edges, resulting in losses, blistering, and further threats of crumbling of the vulnerable layers of the work. I must say that throughout its life in Moscow museums and collections, Vincent van Gogh's The Red Vineyards has only left the capital once. The painting has been guarded with the utmost care and avoided being touched unnecessarily, lest its delicate harmony and peace be disturbed. The Red Vineyards first came to the restoration workshop of the Pushkin Museum in 1951. By then, the work had already lost some ground and paint layer. This can be seen in the darkened areas on radiograph in the upper right corner. Areas with blistering and crumbling were also evident. Marking these worrisome areas are traces of conservation treatments in the form of colourless, cloudy patches left on the front and back of the painting. This is a wax-based consolidation glue. At that time, beeswax, which is not used in contemporary painting conservation, was actively used. Much of the work at that time was also aimed at consolidating the vulnerable edges. Similar problems were observed in the central part of the canvas. Heavy layers of pastos, textured paint clearly prevailed over the canvas and thin primer. There were breaks and craculeurs, and the surface became slightly uneven due to minor warping. But appropriate treatments were carried out, and so far, the areas consolidating at the time have remained stable. The second round of treatments 
was required in 1996. 45 years later, the previously noted hazards reappeared, but this time the problem areas were consolidating with sturgeon glue. The photographs show traces of the consolidation compound in the form of brown spots. Surface dirt was also removed. The art conservator's job is to analyze all this information, to analyze the results of the physical and chemical examination of the samples taken from the areas that have been consolidated. Secondly, to visually examine all these areas, examine the structure of the paint layers and the ground or changes in the structure. And thirdly, to examine all available archival materials, protocols, conservation logs and notes. The conservator is then able to conclude whether or not a particular material or technique has been used effectively. The modern appearance of the red vignettes is defined by the absence of a varnish layer on the surface of the painting. Under ultraviolet light, individual spots of pigments luminous differently, but the overall visible glow characteristic of the varnish layer is not visible. 2021. The documentary sources described above vividly illustrate the current state of preservation of the work. Undoubtedly, the painting remains vulnerable, but now that the Red Vineyards is in the workshop for the third time and has been the subject of several scientific studies, the treatments are more conservative in nature. All the problematic areas in the painting are marked up on the map. They include the destruction of the paint layer with the ground, deformations of the canvas, the loss of paint layers, and also areas where conservation treatments were carried out before. The work of previous generations of conservators has ensured the stable state of preservation of the fragile piece, while the inevitable traces of the past treatments has allowed us to trace the dynamics of new problems and to prevent future ones. The current state of preservation of the work does not allow it to leave the museum. The thick paint layer, although in a stable condition, remains very fragile.